Welcome back everyone, we're going to be solving Leecode 1971, Find If Path Exists in Graph. So there is a bidirectional graph with n vertices where each vertex is labeled from 0 to n minus 1. The edges in the graph are represented as a 2D integer array called edges, where each edges of i is going to be equal to u of i v of i, which denotes a bidirectional edge between the vertex u of i and vertex v of i. Every vertex pair is connected by at most one edge and no vertex has an edge to itself. We want to determine if there is a valid path that exists from vertex source to vertex destination. Okay, so this is clearly a graph problem. We need to find, let's take a look at example one. We need to find a way to get from zero to two. And we can see in the picture that we can either go from 0 straight to 2, or we can go from 0 to 1 to 2. So, whenever we can get from our source to our destination, we return true. Now, what do they give us? They give us an edge list. So, whenever we're given an edge list, we have to either create an adjacency matrix or an adjacency list. And the most common thing to do is to create an adjacency list. So that is what I'm going to be doing here. But if you want to go the matrix route, you can go right ahead and do that. So we'll say graph is going to be equal to a dictionary. We will say for edge in edges. Uh, we will grab the vertex U and V, which I'm going to call A and B. And it's going to be equal to our edge. Now. We need to check if A and B are in our graph. So we'll say if A is not in our graph, what do we do? That means we have to add it. So we'll say graph of A will be equal to an empty list. Now we have to do the same thing for B. So if B not in graph, what do we do? We say graph of B is going to be equal to an empty list. Now, what happens if A and B are in our graph? That means we just have to add the edge to the, uh, to the list, right? So we can say graph of A dot append B and graph of B dot append A. So let's print this out so we can see what we're working with. We'll print out our graph, run this. Okay, so now we can see node 0 has an edge to 1 and 2, and we can see that in this picture, right? 0 goes to 1, and 0 goes to 2. We can see node 1 has an edge to 0 and 2, right? Node 1, 0, node 1 to 2. Okay, now we need to find out how to find a path from, in example 1's case, 0 to 2. How can we do that? Well, we know it's a graph problem, and we know we have to traverse, right? So what are our graph traversal algorithms? They're depth-first search and breadth-first search, right? So you can use whatever you want. Either or will work, but I am more comfortable with a breadth-first search, so that's what I'm going to be using. So we will say Q will be a DQ. And what do we have to put on our Q in order to start this algorithm? Right, we have to put something on here, and we can't just put any node we want, right? We have to have a starting point. Well, as a matter of fact, they give us that starting point, right? It's the source. So we put the source node on our queue. And let me just import our queue from our collections. So from collections, we will import the DQ. Okay, now. We don't ever want to be traversing the same node twice. So we're going to use something called a visited set. right? And it's just going to be a set. And every time we pop a node off of our queue, we're just going to add it to our visited set. So now it's just a matter of running our uh, breadth first search algorithm. right? So we can say, while the length of our queue is not equal to 0, what are we going to do? We're going to pop that leftmost node off of our queue, right? Q dot pop left. Okay, now what? Well, now we have to make sure that the node actually is non-null and it exists within our graph and we haven't visited it before, 
So the first thing we'll do is we'll say, if node is not none, we're gonna do something. What are we gonna do? We're gonna check. Is that node, have we already visited yet? If, um, if node is in our graph and it's not in visited set. So we'll say if node not in graph and node not in our visited set, then we can do something. What are we gonna do? We have to grab all of the edges, right, that our node has, and we have to add those edges to our queue. So we'll say for neighbor in graph of the current working node, we are gonna add that neighbor to our queue. So we'll say queue.append neighbor. Okay, now what? Right, we're done. We've added all of the neighbors to our queue. What do we do now? Well, once we've done that, we can add that node, that current working node, to our visited set. So after this for loop, we're gonna say visited.add the working node. Now, we have forgotten something, um, if you've been paying attention, and that is to check whether we have found a path from our source to our destination. How are we gonna do that? Well, if we ever run into, if this node ever equals our destination value, right? That means we have found a path. So we just check that. We just check if node ever equals destination, we can return true. Otherwise, we're gonna run this part of the loop. And then if we ever exit this while loop, and we never ran this conditional, this never returned true, we can just return a latent return false. Meaning we have, there, there exists no path from our source to our destination. So, let's run this. This is looking pretty good to me. Yep, we'll run this. We fail one test case, why? Let's see here, visited and set length not equal to zero. If node is equal to destination, we return true. If node is not none, okay, if node is not in our graph, ah, this should be in our graph, not not in our graph, and node is not in visited. Okay, now, yes, this should run now, so we'll run this. Yep, we passed both test cases, so we'll submit. Perfect, it does run. So, what are the time and space complexities for this problem. The time complexity is going to be O of the number of edges that we have to traverse in order to find you know, a, a path, if it exists, from our source to our destination. The space complexity is going to be O of n, right? the number of nodes that we're storing within our graph. Okay, that'll do it for Leetcode 1971.